Oh, welcome, Mama Lee. How are you? Thank you. I'm good, 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 good. How was your weekend? Mm, it was okay. I don't know. This weekend, I didn't really see top. It was like a working, yeah, a I, working I, weekend. I, I had uh, some emergencies to sort out okay. from Friday, so I had to continue sorting them out. But I, you're I'm, good? I'm still not out, but I'm, I'm hoping that by... Are you broke? No, it's not about money. Okay, cool. Mm, it's about All people's right. health, yes. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> a very good morning to you too. Um, Alfred Nyakong, I know you now by the name Nanaya Jemfikese, and uh, you're the HR manager for Real Safety Management Services. Please do enjoy your day. And um, I, I say that things will be well. I know why I'm saying that, though. Uh, Mama, do you have some messages you want to read? Uh, I want us to just start with a okay. newspaper. So we'll, ha Mama, we'll have to start with a daily uh, graphic. It has on the front page, load shedding not an option now because of early rains, according to the head of the, the load shedding management committee. We've come to that very point where now the committee has become standardized. It has to be on. Otherwise, we'll be in deep trouble. Mm. And uh, apparently, the president, uh, John Dramani Mahama, and the Tupian prime minister have been conferring. Uh, he's on an official state visit to Ghana. And said, Ghana, Ethiopia, to fight terrorism. Esula clears first hurdle, but 13 constituency executive members resign. Well, despite that controversy, she's still the winner. A very, if you get to know her, a very nice lady. I think she's a very strong woman, too. There's nothing wrong with that, being strong. Uh, Kotoko over power liberty, uh, heart hold to Chimain city, and then we have a lot more Midiama drawing in Sudan. But all in all, it's been a, a good week of football, especially if you consider um, as the opposers of Manchester United, um, who were uh, trashed 3 0 by Tottenham. So? But we have uh, Danny Willett. Let me do the Ghanaian Times newspaper, front page years. of the paper, <laughs> Nayeli's houses seized. Remember Nayeli Ametepe, well, she's making she's not headlines Nayeli Ametepe. In, uh, in the newspapers. Well, that's the name they've given her, so what do you want me to say? Yeah, I get your point. Yeah. That's a, that's uh, a Ghana, prosecution name. Prosecution. <laughs> Ghana, Ethiopia to strengthen cooperation. Police discover large quantity of wee toffees and mine fi uh, man fined for defiling knees. I'll touch on a, a bit of each of the headlines on the front page, but let's turn attention to back page now. Tachiman City holds hats. Kotoko uh, roars back to beat Liberty Professionals 3-1. Yabua gives wow stars three-point lead. We've got details in sport with Benedict Owusu right after the headlines. But let's let's uh, start with this Nayeli story about the seizure of her properties. Uh, and it says that an Accra High Court in Accra has ordered the confiscation to the state of the property of Nayeli Amatafa, the convicted drug uh, courier, uh, seven, yeah. or courier, seven, eight years, eight-month jail sentence in the United Kingdom. The assets include the Knight Angels Enterprise on the Jolu Motorway Extension in Accra, where electrical appliances are sold. Six different bank accounts of the convicts with the Fidelity Bank have also been confiscated. Uh, the Deputy Executive Secretary of the Narcotics Control Board in charge of enforcement and control, Mr. Richard Nee Lante Blankson, who disclosed these to the Ghanaian Times in Accra on Friday, said his outfit was taking steps to serve Amatafa, also known as Ruby Edujemfi, and Irene Terrier with the court ruling. So you can continue to read about it. Uh, there's a subject that's up for discussion uh, right here on the AM show, which is also in the center spread of the Ghanaian Times. It says, child marriage accounted for 25.11% of human rights abuses in the country. And this is according to a study conducted by the Ghana non-governmental organizations, uh, the Coalition of the Rights of the Child. Uh, so that's that NGO that carried out this particular research. We will tell you a lot more about this. But we've been discussing the issue of uh, child marriage and abuse. And we all have to figure out how we end this. So we'll discuss it. Uh, a bit on this we toffees. A police swoop at a popular slum uh, in Roland's hometown, a shaman, uh, a sensu bar on Tuesday. You know the bar? <laughs> you know it's the an bar? area. <laughs> there used oh, to be okay. a bar that called Asensu bar, and so they used to, yeah. Okay. So the bar doesn't. <laughs> it's a neighborhood. 
So this happened on Thursday <laughs> evening, and it led to the seizure of 75 pieces of wee toffee pack. It's normal. Uh, in that <laughs> normal. Uh, is that why, why did he make the, in transparent the paper? Transparent politics. Mm, it's, it's news. Isn't it? Oh, but we in Ashama is. <laughs> Uh, like see some of this in you, uh, Yashama and weed, it's like Nima and weed, those things, it's normal. Yeah? Yeah, we are normal. <laughs> okay, so for, for some of us, it's news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, 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 finally, the, the story that I'll, I'll pick on a little bit of is this one in the Ghanaian Times, a man fined by chief for defiling knees. A 40-year-old man, Yao Kwachi, has been slapped with a fine. He has to be castrated. Fine of 2,000 Ghana cities by the chief of Anaimo Ate in the Amemfi East District of the Western Region for sexually exploiting his 17-year-old niece. He has to be castrated. 2,000 Ghana cities for doing something awful like this. He has to be castrated. He has yes. to be sentenced for life. He deserves not to see the rest of Ghana. <sighs> he shouldn't see daylight. He should be in there for Daily life. guide. I think all the papers have been speaking well of uh, the election. Only daily guy. It, we means, somebody it, it means somebody. It means that somebody at daily guy is not happy because this one. Uh, what was really? controversial about? Yeah, what was controversial? There was about? a lot of controversies oh, before. Roland. I, I don't think so. Uh, really? Daily guide. Esla wins controversial MPP race, but we'll discuss it though. And already we have. Um, they have been counting down the election. We have two hundred and nine days more as Ghana votes. 2016. I love this. Daily Guide. I love you. Uh, Togo register to or Togo vo voter pops up in Kumasi. And now we have a Kosovo dam in danger. Okay. That's a dam? No, that that's isn't. No, not, not the dam. That's an advert. Okay. And then we'll look at um, the Daily Dispatch has a paper, University Don't Caution, Leave Easy to Do Its Work. And then... Uh, we have uh, all the stories there. If you want to have a, a, a good read, please make sure that you do that also. Now, front page of the BNFT uh, exports, uh, exports bleak future over government's uncertainty on EPA and time to implement good strategies according to ECA boss. Uh, also, how high electricity costs killing businesses. Yeah, reminds me, my light went off yesterday night. In the night. The light just went off. Came back. Did uh, you, so I you had, saw lights this I, morning, I right? had roamed uh, my area to buy uh, credits. Electricity credits? Yeah, went as far as them. I didn't get. So, and I knew that you won't get to me because Nani Akim Lisa. Sorry for you. I'm telling you. Let's do the finder, front page of the finder. Doom sort resurrects a thousand megawatt shortfall forces fresh challenge. Comes with a picture of John Abdullah Jinapo, who is the deputy minister of power. Government to borrow some 4.9 billion Ghana cities in debt securities in April. That's this month. BNI's action threat to rule of law. The Ghana Bar Association coming up with a statement uh, on this issue of the three South Africans last Friday. Nats accuses governments of delaying validation process. We brought you details of that in our AM News. These are some of the stories on the front page of the final. But let's touch on the doom so a little bit. Full story on page two in the final newspaper and says that the country's recovery from a uh, Okay, hang on. I have to breathe and say this. Uh, debilitating power challenge, popularly called Doomso. Debilitating, uh, eh? That, yeah, that <laughs> spanned about three years, has suffered a I jolt. I thought that was, that uh, that word was usually used for, has resurrected. for illnesses and okay, well, so acute. Uh, so apparently it is. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> Doomso is debilitating. It's crippling us. <laughs> <laughs> the Institute of Statistical hey, Social and Economic Research estimated that Dumso cost the economy some $2.2 .2 million daily. The return of the, okay, the power challenge has been attributed to a lack of lean gas to power thermal power plants as a result of problems with floating production storage uh, with, okay, uh, storage of loading vessel FPSO Kwame Nkrumah as well as the supply of only 10% of total gas expected 
from Nigeria. Uh, for some people, these are all excuses. Uh, but details in the Finder newspaper. You can grab the paper mm. and all that. Um, okay. Moavi, you, 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 we, let's look at what the story is. I think we're done with the newspaper. Okay. You have some messages? Uh, it's my uh, tab is acting up this morning. I okay. don't seem to be receiving the messages, mm. but when I do, I'll share them with all of you. All right. So we'd want to look at what the stories are, uh, if we can. OK. So we, we, we have Ghana's uh, water purification system differs according to the director of CSIR, Water Research Institute. And that's then that's uh, Dr. Joseph Adwampofo uh, trying to tell us that we have water problems more. <laughs> or, you know, I think. 18% uh, of Expresso Ghana sold, 82% with escrow agents. <laughs> well, there's something about TV Joshua predicting yeah. something. Do you, do you yeah. see this? Is there a video? Yeah, there's a video on my jaw online. Maybe Fred uh, will try and open mm. it up for us. Fr to see. Fred, try and open that one. TV and and, and if you can give us a sound, let's see what TV Joshua is saying. Nigeria. Uh, we're trying to pull this up and see. Okay, how and much try and play the video. Can, can we get the sound on air? Well, hopefully, uh, if we have a Yeah, Fre Fred connection. says we can. I love okay. Fred, you know? So I usually see. love it. Uh, play this one. Just play it and put the sound there. So this was on April 10th. Yeah, this is uh, this real, real. This co uh, real. Uh, yeah. Fred, <laughs> uh, and, and put the sound on air. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to come together and pray for this troop nation. Because I'm seeing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If I may say Thursday, because when you say Thursday, because these evil people are very funny. Anything can just happen. You'll be very shocked to see what happened. Because I, because when the prayer is going this direction, they do this direction. I see Thursday, Friday. Pray for these two nations, Nigeria and Ghana, over gathering in anywhere, over attack. I'm seeing an attack. And that will be in a foreign way. The attack will come, not local way. So please offer your list and pray for these two nations for protection. Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Because the, the, the evil one said, can we go this way? Can we go that way? Anyone that is free, they want to enter. So they pray for over for protection. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you are the pray for the nation, two nations. It's okay, right? Fred, that's okay. So we're doing a review of the various news portals. So we went to my job online. It's there. So that's why we brought But we have to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray. He said from Thursday. This very Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then is it Sunday or okay, okay, it's Sunday? The, I know that it's in the month of April. But I don't know if it's this Thursday, you Friday, Thursday. or Saturday. I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. so Thursday no more, Friday no more. Th there's a there's okay. a message so, uh, there's a message that was sent to me this morning. I'll try and let's get to the home page and let's well. see. Okay, try and look for that very message. Yeah, as well. because okay. I think that uh, this uh, somebody is also predicting something uh, and asking that we pray. Mm. So we'll share. Yeah, that I think as it's well. all in light. It's a lot of things are on social media these mm. days. So, uh, so Fred, let's go to the next story. Uh, we have national service, not national suffering. <laughs> and that's somebody's opinion. It's, an, uh, I'm sure, an experienced opinion. Oh, he says it's, the, it's, it's, it's one of the best things that ever happened to me. To a large extent, that's the turning point in my life. Oh, great. But you, he, was, he or she was fortunate. He did it in a mining company. Oh. What do you expect? <laughs> if you do your national service with, like, Anglo Gold, Ashanti, or Charlie, 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 uh, Charlie. Newmont, Ghana, uh, or any of Next one. You got this only <laughs> radiotherapy unit breaks down. Yeah. I'm sure that the whole country is in uproar. Because Apart from the country, there are other connecting countries who are using it. Mm. Yeah. In Ghana, when this happens, the whole of the country will be, the media yeah. will be uh -huh. all over. It, you know, it's just like Ghana where we have other people, our neighboring uh, countries, countries coming, coming to, coming to Kolibu, Kolibu, for instance. Uh -huh. the same this thing. is a similar and, uh, is situation. Are they also making, who, are they raising hula balloon? This story was it? on the BBC, so I think that it's a, it's I, a big I deal. heard it on the BBC, I think on Friday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next, 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 next. All right. Uh, media caution against acts of media terrorism. Wow. Mm. 
Uh, this was uh, Dr. Vladimir and Chidan, so, mm. yeah. All right. And then we look at the last one. Uweri Mine Owners Petition. Ashanti Minister over Invasion of Mine. Mm. Uh, so these are some of the stories you find when you log on to our website, myjoyonline.com. Quickly, we'll check out what CTFM is reporting today. Judiciary to equip judges to handle election cases. Uh, tempted to open that up, I mean, equip them in what way. Commerce fights Tamale teaching hospital over lab privatization. That was in our AM News. GS to sack head teachers culpable in exam leaks. Uh, retired, retired police officers chase IGP for compensation. Fred, kindly click on that story for us. Let's uh, uh, read a bit of details of this uh, story. It comes with a picture of the IGP. John Kudalo says that some police officers who claim they were forced to retire in 1994 are demanding compensation from the Inspector General of Police and the Police Administration. The officers numbering about 20 say they were forced to retire before age 60. Okay, so uh, CTFM has got details of that story. We'll end with the Africa page of the BBC. Fred? Okay. Uh, so, Darfur to vote on political future. The Western Sudanese region of Darfur is to vote on its administrative uh, status 13 years after the start of a conflict which has left some 300,000 dead. Wow. Uh, you also find on the page Chad votes as leader eyes fit term. Ebeo, Idris Debi. I want you to retire. You want to go for a fifth time? Because what he's the only person who's qualified to lead or what? Charlie Africa. And then uh, Zuma's son apparently uh, quits over political attack. Mm. And we know that uh, a lot of things have been happening. Fred, uh, can you open that up for us? I mean, quit in what sense? This is the only, uh, the first African, if he has a, if he's occupying a political position, then this will be like the first African who is taking this action. We know that because of the uh, uh, Roland, the, the reports, the Okay, let me take my time and read. The son of South Africa's president has resigned from a company owned by a family accused of wielding undue political influence in the country. Oh, I thought it was uh, Panama. Leaks. Leaks, yeah. But this has nothing to do with that. This is uh, uh, the controversial Gupta family. Remember, I think mm. the finance minister mm. of the country said that it was the family that mm. appointed him or something of the mm. sort. It became mm. a whole mm. uh, huge issue. <laughs> And Jacob Zuma had to come and say that he appoints no person of family, you know, the kind of thing. Okay, so that's it for an online review. Interested in any of the stories that you've seen, you can log on to the site. So you can go ahead to the newsstands and grab the papers. Apologies that we are unable to retrieve your messages now, but we will in the course of this program and then we'll share with you. We have to make way for Benedict to also down quite. There was a lot of sports action over the weekend. I don't even want to hear Manchester United. Yeah. What? Because we know that Louis Van Gaal. It's just that he's only preparing himself to exit <laughs> office for Manchester for so that Jose Moreno will come and take over. Uh, you know, some of these things yeah. happen. On your exit in this. Okay, Roland is not the one doing sports. It's Benedict, so stay with us. He comes up <laughs> right next. <laughs>